Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 2nd of April. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Accenture Fair. So you said ensembles, but you're trying to cover weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us well into the second half of April. And I shall get something back for you in a moment. Just to say you back first. Video receives our 6 UK weather forecast. We've also released a weekend forecast of the EC42 day for the UK and Ireland. Check out all, all of today's videos of content. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, okay, we're going to start off this video in the stratosphere. Just bring up to date with what's going on with strat uh, warming. So, yes, it continues. Zona winds remain in reverse here. This is weather is cool, of course. So, zero line here, all important. Zona winds reversed during the first week of March, uh, dropped down to a very low level about a week or so ago, and now picking up, but still, the zona wind remains in reverse at 10 HPA, 60 degrees north, so the sudden stratospheric warming event goes on. If I add in the GFS ensembles, the trend is to go positive, though, in the next few days, so uh, the SSW will be coming to an end probably in about two days' time. And uh, then we see the zone wind returning back closer to average at the end of March and into the beginning of April. That's still a very weak zone wind, of course, due to the time of the year. But uh, this is not the final warming. It's not the final reversal of this season. That is most likely going to happen into the latter part of April and uh, possibly even the beginning of uh, May. But for now, yes, for a day or so more, uh, the uh, reversal of zone winds goes on <coughs> excuse me everybody right central temperature is currently sitting at uh, 8.3 which is 2.6 degrees above 61 to 99 average that is provisional to yesterday to the 22nd of uh, april that's going to tick down over the next few days as the weather has turned cooler has turned chillier um but still a very mild uh, march despite having quite a cold start these were GFS upright temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks from Aberdeen today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Aberdeen. Starting off around to slightly below average and becoming colder over the uh, next few days up there in Aberdeen. So, quite a pronounced cold snap to come into the beginning of next week. And throughout next week, actually staying uh, around to slightly below average. And yet, same range, we have got a lot of scatter, though. Uh, so we've got some very, very mild, if not quite warm, on some members up here through the first week of April. Equally, we've got cold on some of the members uh, down there. Big range in uh, the warmest to the coldest ensemble members. So, um, I mean, we've got uh, that outlier member there, not far from 15 degrees at 858 PA, but we've also got some going down to minus 10 at 858 PA. So, a lot of uncertainty, basically, when we get into early April. But before then, looking rather cold, or at least quite chilly, and plenty more rain to come. That doesn't end, whether it's uh, warm rain or cold rain. It doesn't really make much difference. <laughs> we just see further bouts of rain coming through, possibly a bit of a dry trend for the first week of uh, April, but that's so far off that uh, um, I don't think we can put all that much credence in that, to be honest. Temperature anomaly is shall be 23rd to 31st of March, coming out slightly below average. Most of Western Europe is included in that now. And precipitation anomalies from the 23rd to 31st of March, wetter than average, really. So a cool, possibly even quite cold and wet week to come. Wet wicket. Um, this is lazy. We've back from Earth, Rollschool.net, showing that low pressure is between Scotland and Norway today. And we're bringing the wind from the northwest to a northerly direction. Oh, very chilly with those northwesterly to northerly winds. Right, let's start going through the chart data there. This is how latest UK bet you're a run. You'll get behind the stage as long as you want dry weather. I'll just warn you now. Um, no, this is how latest UK bet you're a run. It's looking for midnight on Tuesday. No pressure to our south and west. And we'll be pushing up bands of rain as well. Now, we turn very cyclonic through the middle of next week. Um, I think the central pressure with this low 
is possibly down to 955 millibars, maybe a 950. Um, no, really deep low pressure there in the Atlantic, just the south of Island through the middle part of next week, bringing further bouts of rain in with it. That gets us to Saturday, Easter Saturday, 30th of March, where we're still looking unsettled with low pressure properly in the ascendancy. I can't, again, show it low pressure taking over both south and the west through the middle part of next week. Deep cyclonic low pressure in control, bringing bouts of rain in from off the Atlantic through the middle part of the week. And into uh, the Easter weekend, just stays on south that low pressure, anchored, rooted just to the west of the UK island with bouts of rain rotating around it. And then the KMA uh, looks like this. So all much of a virtue is turning very, very unsettled as we go in through the middle of this week and into the Easter weekend as well. Uh, up to Easter Monday, 1st of April, look at this low pressure just keeps on pushing in from both the south and the west. Will it ever end? We end up the KMA 4th of April and we're still dominated by low pressure. Um, now, a couple of days ago, there was a suggestion that we might start to build some higher pressure up through the first week of April, but there's absolutely no sign of that with uh, that KMA run in particular. Let's see what the uh, GFS Midnight Run wants to do. Again, we've got all this low pressure both south and to the west of the country in the Atlantic on Tuesday. They also get together and form one large, very large area of low pressure in the middle part of the week. That brings bouts of rain in with it heading into easter yes low pressure remains in control up to easter sunday even on easter monday 1st of april we find ourselves under a trough of low we probably lose with more prolonged bouts of rain through the easter period but it certainly stays showery at the very least i would have thought then we tried to get some higher pressure building to our south and west in the first week of april but you know, it all looks a little bit flimsy. Maybe it turns a little bit drier and mild after the first week of April. But overall, even then, still keeping influence from low pressure. But GFS 6Z, again, with all of these low pressure, all these areas of low pressure, I should say, to the south and the west, they kind of all merge into one big low by Wednesday. And uh, that low then just churns away, chugs away through the rest of the week into the Easter weekend as well. Just uh, low pressure keeps on coming. That's a scenario at day 10, which is the second of April, gets us just beyond Easter. Uh, then winds back into the north again, and uh, we're still looking pretty showery. Now, we do start to get a little bit of a rich building, though, beyond that. So we start to turn drier and milder as we go further on through the first week of April. That's how we end up with GFS 6 there. Gets us to the 8th of April. And then we're under an area of high pressure. So the 6th day does successfully build in an area of high pressure through the first week of April. Um, we shall see. We shall see if that uh, comes off or not. If you enjoy the video, please you like, share and subscribe. It's all a bit <laughs> it's all a bit grim, I know. But anyway, if you're enjoying it, then um, if you enjoy the presentation, let's say. Not necessarily the chart, but if you enjoy the presentation, then please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. Thought dear that we need to put on around 45 subscribers, I think, now to get ourselves to 18.1k. So, if you could give us a sub and to your friends a fan to subscribe, that would be incredible. You thank you so much for doing that. Uh, right, GM with low pressure again to the south and west on Tuesday, developing into a big area of low through the middle part of the week. Plenty of rain to come. Could probably be some snow mixed in with this as well. Devil's in the detail with the band, with, with, with these bands of rain. But if they get far enough north with this sort of northeasterly flow in across the northern half of the country, there is a prospect for some snow, I think, around the middle part of the week, particularly over high ground, but not necessarily exclusively so, especially when you get up to Scotland. Very wet down in the south, of course, and uh, low pressure stays in control as we go through into the Easter weekend as well. No real changes. Another lot actually pushing up from the south there from Easter Sunday to Easter Monday, sitting in the southern North Sea, bringing in this very chilly northeast wind across the whole country, so cold and wet over Easter with the gem. 
Uh, <laughs> you had enough yet? Yeah, you had enough? And then the ECMWF looking like this. Can't take it anymore. Can we? It's been going on since July. Goodness gracious me. A few exceptions here and there. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do you? Um, anyway, the ECM again with Lone Fresh to West and myself on Tuesday. Just forming one big area of low pressure. Over the country for the middle part of the week, that load keeps on coming then into the uh, Easter weekend as well. No real changes. Look at this. This is East, midnight Easter Monday. This is like Sunday, Easter Sunday to Easter Monday. Another low is developing down in the south with this strong northeasterly wind. I mean, if this was winter though, if this was like a couple of months previous, that would be a real snowmaker. That northeast wind and low pressure again it is a case of if only it was January for snow and cold lovers, but as it is, probably just cold, wet, really, <laughs> through uh, Easter Sunday to East Monday. That's a setup for day 10. Note we've got a blocking area of high pressure building in the North Atlantic and trying to push up towards Greenland, uh, which is just helping to maintain this northeasterly wind. This is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibetia.com. Winchy showers in the north today. Rain showers in the south. Watch out for hail and thunder and some of the heavy downpours. Tomorrow we do get a break in the unsettled weather, but the rain's back in again as we go through into Monday, particularly so for more northern and western regions. Um, and then the trend through the week will be to turn increasingly unsettled with heavy rain and some snow mixed in, pushing up from the south. Significant snow possible for Scotland. Around the middle part of the week, heavy rain elsewhere. It's little bits of snow coming and going. Um, and it just goes on and on, really. So further bouts of rain to come. This gets us to Easter. No, this is Easter Sunday, Easter Monday again, just been thoroughly, thoroughly wet there across uh, many parts of the country. And again, there is always a suggestion that there could be some snow through northern England on high ground, possibly to lower levels uh, as these back bands of rain get northwards up into Scotland. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10. For the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 2nd of April. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensemble, all of them, with low pressure to the south and to the southwest, combined the blocking area of high pressure around Greenland. It will help to maintain a northeasterly flow, so looking not only cool or cold, but also wet, with a low pressure bringing plenty of rain up from the south. Whoops. And then two weeks time, we have the options that we've got, and it gets us to the 7th of April. Wow, my line went wonky. 7th of April. Um, I can't draw a straight line today what's wrong with me what's wrong you gal uh gets us to the 7th of april there you go that's a straight line 13 members of the east Jeb ensemble still with low pressure over the north east country high pressure for north atlantic so cold and wet winds in from north and from north east got 12 with high pressure just to our west, low pressure is to our east. That looks a little bit chilly and a little bit showery. We have got 10 with low pressure over into the south of the country, combined with a blocking air of high pressure around Greenland. Again, that will bring the wind in from the northeast. It's actually cold and wet with that one. We have got 9 down here with high pressure around Iceland in the North Atlantic. So a little bit drier, but quite cold with that. And then we've got seven with low pressure dominating. Probably a milder flow, winds from the southwest, but uh, still really unsettled. So a range of options. Most of them, though, are still involving low pressure, even at two weeks out. And I have to say, most of those options are looking at the very least chilly, if not cool, and maybe even cold. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar high times break down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 23rd to 29th of March. The next week looks very unsettled, low pressure dominating across the north and west of Europe. So, <laughs> not much more to say, really, just uh, the deluge goes on. Week 2 is going to be the 30th of March to the 5th of April, low pressure to the west, high pressure to the east. That's a little bit of a battleground UK type scenario. It would draw up the wind from possibly a milder southerly direction. I'm not sure about that. Not much more of a model output, you know, looking like that, I have to say. But it's a possibility. And then week three <laughs> will be the uh, 6th, the 12th of April. High pressure takes over. Then we finally get a break and high pressure then starts building 
across northern and west Europe and in the North Atlantic as well. That should bring mainly dry conditions. But uh, week four sees that high pressure starting to break quite quickly. It's the 13th to the 19th of April. The high pressure is collapsing, low pressure coming back in the Atlantic. So that will be starting to turn unsettled again after a dry injury. But, 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 but at least we do actually get a drier interlude there. With the CFS in week three, but uh, we shall see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Don't get to your friends about guys. Well, thanks to everybody for doing that for us. As I say, we need to put on around. I think it's around forty-five subscribers. Just out to eighteen point one k. So it could give us a sub. It'll be amazing. It'll be incredible. We I mean, thank you so much for doing that. I'll just tell us happening on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 m UK weather forecast. We've got our next summer update. I think we're up to update number four now, maybe, with that. And then we'll be live at 6 p.m. with you 10 to 14 there. As it's a Sunday live stream, we're going to throw in some long range as well. And so that is coming up for you tomorrow at 6 p.m. I shall see you live then. But uh, don't forget, you know, summer update before that. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.